welcome back to after effects master class so you can import the videos like this go to file import and file or you can drag and drop the images into premiere so in previous class we already talked about that now let us stop in the play so just drag and drop the video into timeline so you can access the video i just delete this and i just drag and drop the images i think this image is raw file that's why it's take loading time so i just reduces the size of this one and if you when you reduce the file you should hold the shift key otherwise so it's a proportion scaling otherwise it's like this so when you reduce the one file you should hold the shift key and shift or control for center based scale now i just added the image and video both are in same timeline so you can access both you can see both video and images so when you um, press on space bar you, you can play the video and i just deleted the video now only images now you can import uh, different if you double click on there project window you can import the video again for example i imported my intro and drag and drop into timeline you can see the video only because our image is in bottom layer that's why it's not visible so when you you can see here a green color means it's a rendered file so when you press on space bar it's mostly smoothly working because everything is green but if you apply any effects for example if you apply blur for the video it's take time for example if you press on the space bar it's look at this this our system will hang so it's very heavy the rendering is very slow you can see here right now is very slow so you can do one thing here is you can change the resolution you can change into auto they will automatically the select best resolution or you can change the third half quarter for example if you are working with quarter see this the quality is very less but is preview only okay just change the camera effect with the camera effects and if you working with quarter quality is very less it's only in preview when you export you can get the final quality but it's help over the smooth workflow if you have low ram you can get the you can work smoothly so you can change the resolution from here and you can turn the transparency also you can click on the transparency and right now the resolution is full means full quality if you have, if your system is really slow change into quarter so right now you can zoom the window and by mouse middle middle rolling button so you can zoom the windows and you can fit the windows also right now if you are create a composition and you can change the composition size and everything from here composition composition setting and you can change the height and width and duration and for example i change the duration into 10 seconds so you can change the frame rate everything right now it's a square so that's why i'm talking you can change everything later so that's not a matter so it's now right now it's a square and 10 seconds so if you want you can change it again go to composition composition setting i think ctrl k for the shortcut 
and if you want to zoom the time in plus and minus is the shortcut so these are the basics of our interface and let us check the layers right now in here if you are going to two layers you can available so here you can visibility turn on the visible toggle the visibility you can turn and here is a lock so we lock the first layer for example you can this i will uh, explain later detailed and this is a solo if you are clicking that one only visible and here is a lot of things you can get track mat blending mode everything you will get i will explain deeply everything later based on the projects so just understand the interface where is the tools and where is the fx window where is layers control everything and if you are drop down a layer you can get the transformation option scale position rotation everything if you are drop down a layer you can get the you will get the every transformation every effect every layer controls for example you can change the opacity you can change the position and scale everything you can change from here also so these are the toolbar you can rotate you can you can pan and these are the select the first v for selection and here is the shapes window everything will explain what is the every tool will explain the piece of so, stay tuned for the next one.